Ethmoid bone. The ethmoid bone is an unpaired fragile bone located between the two orbital cavities. Parts. It consists of the following parts. Cribriform plate, Cristagalli, perpendicular plate, and two labyrinths. It consists of a median vertical plate and right and left labyrinths. The median plate is further divided into the crista galli and the perpendicular plate. The median plate is connected to the labyrinth by a thin plate of bone known as the cribriform plate. Cribriform plate. The cribriform plate fills the ethmoid notch between the two orbital plates of the frontal bone and separates the nasal cavities from the anterior cranial fossa. It has a number of small pores which transmit the filaments of the olfactory nerve from the olfactory epithelium of the nasal cavity to the olfactory bulb of the brain. Crista galli. It has a triangular median crest on the upper surface of the cribriform plate. It resembles the crest on the head of the gallus domesticus, or cock's comb, and gives attachment to the anterior end of the fac cerebri. Perpendicular plate. It is a quadrilateral plate which projects downwards from the inferior surface of the cribriform plate. It forms the upper part of the nasal septum. Labyrinth. The labyrinth consists of several ethmoidal air sinuses that are enclosed within thin plates of bone. The air cells, according to their location, are divided into three groups, anterior, middle, and posterior. The lateral surfaces of the labyrinth form the medial wall of the orbit, and the medial surface forms the lateral wall of the nasal cavity. Two shelf-like plates of bone project from the medial surface and are known as superior and middle concave. Articulations. The perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone articulates antero-inferiorly with the septal cartilage of the nose, posterior-inferiorly with the vomer, anteriorly with the frontal and nasal bones, and posteriorly with the sphenoid. The cribriform plate articulates laterally with the orbital plate of the frontal bone, and posteriorly with the sphenoid. The labyrinth articulates above with the frontal bone, posteriorly with the sphenoid, and laterally with the maxilla, the palatine bone, and lacrimal bone. The medial aspect of the labyrinth gives attachment to part of the inferior nasal concha. Clinical correlation. In case of injury to the head, any bloodstained discharge of CSF from the nose indicates a fracture of the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone in the anterior cranial fossa. This is known as CSF rhinorrhea and may result in anosmia or loss of smell due to damage to the olfactory nerves.